Five people have been killed in the chaos at Kabul's airport as thousands tried to flee Taliban control. A day after capturing the Afghan capital, the insurgents have promised to ensure security. But the speed of their victory is a foreign policy disaster for U.S. President Joe Biden, who authorized the withdrawal of American troops after a 20-year war. Shots fired to restore order. Chaos engulfs Kabul's international airport as thousands of Afghans desperately try to flee a city, now once again under Taliban rule. U.S. Marines are helping to evacuate diplomats and foreigners working in Afghanistan. Other governments, including France and Australia, are also organizing charter flights. But it's a far more chaotic situation for locals trying to leave on the few flights out. Frantic scenes as thousands try to climb onto already overcrowded planes. Hours later, authorities declared the civilian side of the airport closed until further notice. On the streets of Kabul, a tense calm has set in. Most people appear to be hiding out at home as heavily armed Taliban fighters fan out across the capital. They claim they're there to calm the situation and avoid looting. This is uh, the demand, the will and the want of the people of Afghanistan. They want this government that uh, you, you may have seen that when uh, ever we entered the provincial cities, people uh, thronged along uh, the roads uh, and queued up with the, along the roads and they were welcoming our uh, forces. So it is a popular uprising. The militants say Afghans should not fear them and that no revenge will be taken against those who supported the U.S.-backed alliance. But on the ground, there is doubt. Any expression of art would be banned. There will be no music, no TV. Uh, there would be uh, no murals, no paintings. Uh, so I know what, how it is. I know what it will be. Uh, we are going back hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, to a place that uh, there is no uh, empathy, there is no kindness, there is no colors, there is no love. Uh, so that, that's very scary. After a 10-day Taliban blitz, the fall of Kabul was sudden and peaceful, with the government handing over control. The insurgents have staked the claim to the presidential palace, sitting at the desk where just hours before Afghan leader Ashraf Ghani pledged to work out a negotiated settlement. He later fled the country, triggering huge backlash from locals, unsure of what lies ahead. Now for more, we're joined by Afghan journalist uh, uh, Fazal Min Ala Kazizai. He's in Kabul. Uh, Fazal Min, uh, do tell us, uh, chaotic scenes at the airport, we, we've seen that, but in Kabul city, there's relative calm? Uh, yes, sure. As you are aware that um, since uh, yesterday morning, um, the American forces are trying to educate their partners, their diplomats, and some of their close Afghan allies. Uh, they are advocating them for true Chinook and Apache plans from the Green Zone from the embassy compound to the Kabul airport, which is just in a short distance. Um, therefore, uh, for this evacuation, the American forces block all commercial flights, all civilian flights, and even close the VIP terminal. Uh, the evacuation process, uh, unfortunately, um, sent a message outside to the local Afghan, to the ordinary Afghan, that anyone who is, in, who is in danger, the American will take them to America or to Canada safely by plans. So therefore, the top majority of Afghans, which were already um, fleeing from poverty, from, from unemployment, from, from, from the economic uh, uh, concerns they had, they found this a chance and, and, a, and, and a way uh, shorter and, and um, uh, faster to, to reach this distance. So therefore, uh, thousands of Afghans tried to enter the Kabul airport. There were no uh, official on duties, unfortunately. All the security forces and officials were fleed before them. So Afghans were, were, were easily 
allowed to enter the terminals. From the terminals, they went further down to the runways. And there, they make a big uh, crowds, which uh, unfortunately, the U.S. Marine Forces, to control the crowds, they, they open some uh, fire in the air, or we don't know it was on the air or on the ground, but still we have a number of casualty, around uh, five people dead. Maybe they will be dead by the direct bullets of Marines, or maybe they will be because they fallen down to the ground and other Afghans maybe walked over them. But um, uh, when uh, when um, uh, this evacuation completed, uh, the um, uh, some some other commercial flights resumed back. Some uh, some other uh, uh, normal civilian flights to the uh, region were resumed back. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, because there is no security and no officials on duty. Uh, the, the rush and crowds of people still remain the same. Okay, thank you so much for getting us up to speed with events in Kabul. It was Fazil Min Allah Kazizai, journalist there in Afghanistan.